Greetings and welcome back to Berlin. Today is a little bit sightseeing. It's again another one of those Saturdays without ballet. And uh, so we're gonna hit a couple of spots. We're at the Hauptbahnhof, the main train station right now. On our way to Mauer Park, and um, that's a place uh, worth visiting if you are here. And then we're gonna find ourselves or a continuation of the Duner Gamuza Kebab or We'll talk more about that in a second. We'll give you a little bit more. That's the tutorial. That's the 101. And we'll get that to you in just a little bit. Ciao. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of the day at one of the markets in Berlin. <laughs> kind of good to see the tearing down as well as the going on. So I guess you could say this is a little bit of the sightseeing part of the trip. Uh, there's a section in Berlin. I'm on my way from the Hauptbahnhof out to Eberswalderstrasse on the M10. On the Strassenbahn or the trolley you might call it in other places. And this is a place where the wall existed. And there's another place called the East Side Gallery which is more artsy, a little bit more touristy. This is very historical. There's a lot of information. They had these, these kiosks with information set up along the way. And this is a definitely, if you want to get kind of a little bit of a feel for the city and what it might have been before. I was here when I was in high school in the 70s uh, when there were armed troops at Checkpoint Charlie. And uh, it took me a couple of, a couple, three, four years before I really, I kind of feel like I live here now, but um, the history is not lost on you here. And if you look here, these, this represents where the wall was. But a city divided no longer. Okay, and then just a couple of stops from the place that we stopped to look at the, the, wall, the wall memorial, not the east side gallery, but the wall, the wall memorial, the Mauer Gedenkness or memory uh, is Mauer Park. This is a very, very, very popular place and a must come, especially for younger people when you're coming to Berlin. Uh, it's a big open park. They have a big flea market that's open on the weekends. You can like, like a huge freaking market. And uh, also we're gonna come back and visit in a couple of minutes, but we're gonna go get a dooner. We're gonna come back and eat at the, uh, what I think is like a pretty cool place. It's an open air um, amphitheater type situation and on the weekends they always have karaoke there again that's not going to happen today or this weekend but the weather is changing and uh, maybe the virus is relenting a little bit Okay, so we have incredibly friendly staff. I can't wait to take this. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna walk back the 500 meters to Mauer Park and eat this up when, uh, once Christina meets up with me and we'll share it with you when we get there. Look at that. See that's being heated and it's really nice brown, beautiful, succulent, sublime. Okay, cool. And a little vegetable. What all is it? Pota potatoes, carrots, yes. parkafo, carrot? Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, we got a special one coming up. This is the same as your other store. You have another store, right? In Schöneberg. Hauptstrasse? Yes, no, no. Hauptstrasse in Schöneberg, yeah. Uh -huh. No, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, now, my son took me there when he lived here. And it was... That's, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. My brother and my... My brother and my son. Oh, wonderful. Uh, okay. Work it's a family affair. Okay. Are you... The, did you start it yourself? 
Oh, or you yeah. and your brother? My brother. Uh -huh. So, uh, and the final round. Want to take away? Or yeah, please. Okay. Thank you. So, so absolutely wonderful. Wake up. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Ciao. Thank you. Bye Thank bye. you. Have a nice day. Ciao. Okay, now, like I said before, this is Eberthalter Station, and uh, we've got Kanopkis. If you've been with us before, you know that's one of the best currywurst places in town. We've got, just down the street, we've got Burgermeister, which we were at two weeks ago, and I think that one's been up on the station. And here we've got the Gemuse Kebab. Uh, we got it right here. Uh, we've got this treasure. I never saw this. I never really saw this until I came to Berlin, but you can take it lighter and you can buy a little bit of, put it under and then just use your finger as leverage and that just pops right off so easy when i was in college i used to use my teeth oh that's that tutorial <laughs> oh the peanut gallery and if we can get a shot of this dooner being cut and we should have a Oh my goodness. Does that look like something you just want to shove in your face? <laughs> Slowly, so you can taste it. You can see the chicken, you can see the vegetables, you can see the potato in there. And this bread is like, we've been calling it flatbread, but this is Turkish bread. And it's, it's, it's a little bit crusty, it's not thin like a pita or a naan type of bread. And we just have to eat this. This has had a chance because we walked about 500 meters and stopped at Shpady and got something to drink. And it has a little bit of time, and I would suggest this actually. Like give it a little time for the flavors to come together just like when you're cooking. My mouth just exploded smelling it. All right. Best chicken face things I think I've ever eaten. Oh my god, this is really good. Okay, final tutorial for the day. You can drink beer in Berlin and you can walk around in the streets, and not that everybody does it all the time, but when you finish, don't throw it in the trash can, put it like down next to it. because somebody is going to take that and they're going to bring it and they're going to recycle it and they're going to get money for it. This is a case in point and a reason why you don't throw your bottles and cans away because there are people that collect these, especially in well-populated park areas and virus-spreading environments. So anyway, that's why you just put it down by the side because you're really helping somebody else out by doing that.